Hello and welcome to my reaction to the newest episode of the Movie Trivia Schmodown. This week we've got an interdictive match between Adam Holavik and Keaton Marquis. Without much further ado, let's just jump right into it. I'm Adam Havik. I've competed in the Schmodown. Okay, kind of flashing back to the uh, really to be Fatal Five Way between uh, Keaton Markey and Adam Havik, where I believe they both debuted. I'm really stoked to kind of get my own shot to do it. So unfortunately, you will not be I'm leaving Hlavik here today Hlavik doing as the very winner well of this Fatal Five Way Interkeeping match. And Hell of a performance. I wish not the last time we're he would have been able to be back. play Donica again. Because I think those two played very well. Keaton did pretty well in that five way. In and, uh, company in the you know, she did well against her match. Yeah. Against, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Princess oh, Night, but I'm pretty sure I haven't played against one of them. Wow. But there's a chance Keaton Mark could pull this off. Uh, I'm a little frustrated. I'm a little upset. Lion's End came in. They recruited a new guy. I've been here three times. I've lost three times now, always to the last question. Wow. Wow. I'm coming for Cushing, I'm coming for Donica, I'm coming for Inman. I'm taking all of you guys down. It's gonna be Who played Eureka, a aka Lady Deathstrike in X? So it's kind of unclear whether or not Halavix is the heel. Exactly. Or, uh, yeah, I think. Keep Marky, she's solid, but let's face it, she's not playing a great player. Ken and Mark at the desk, a classic combination. Here, Ken, we have found ourselves in the second round, and the Shonen as a whole has found itself in the midst, maybe the eye of the hurricane. If this is the movie Twister, there's cows flying everywhere after the events of the Collider Collision. <laughs> and I'm Philip Seymour Hoffman yelling, it's coming! Because things are crazy. It's like when I take my uh, box of cereal and open up the bottom end to get to the crumbs faster. This is just pieces all over the kitchen table here. Here in the Schmodown. Uh, it, it's uh, it, it, we've got Sam has, has vacated titles. He's walking. Yes, yeah, Sam's gone. Star Wars yeah. champion. When I you feel, know, I should still be the champion. I yeah, the Sam, Star Wars champion kind of flying around. Yeah, won I mean, without challenging a previous champion. You You've got. So yeah, the both the team and singles, they're going to be, uh, uh, that new champion isn't going to have to face the previous champion. And then, yeah, you have, uh, oh, you have Andrew Guy beating Dan Merle, and you have the team championships, or team tournament, that being completely different, so Schmodown is in a state of anarchy. How much of it is Mike Kalinowski doing? Mike Kalinowski's character. Who knows? I wonder if they're going to tie in the stuff with Sam Levine to Mike Kalinowski's persona. Who knows? Mike Kalinowski's done a great job of calling out the corruption in this league, as he says, but I think now we have a new brand of corruption. But you know what? With all this chaos, it is the great philosopher, 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 Peter Baelish, that says chaos is a ladder. From this chaos, someone will emerge, and there is one constant. The lion's den is gone, but the knight's Again, me and Mark Donica are here to rule in their steed. So what a cute name that is, JT and Dagnina. It looks good on T-shirts. On its own, it's going to sell a lot of merch on T Public. But what will it actually put under the white hot spotlight? That's what we're looking at with this matchup here today, because yep. even this matchup has been affected by the Caligula-like reign of Mike Kanowski. Uh, Kanowski, because you look at uh, Keaton Markey, right? Yeah. She was supposed to play Emma Fife. Right. And she challenged her. All of a sudden, everybody who 
advanced to round two. Just got thrown into a Vitamix, which is still $500 yeah. at Best Buy. They hit go. And next thing <laughs> you know, now it's Keaton going up against Adam Halibak, who somehow was able to best his good buddy Hector Navarro in round one. I don't know how that happened. I have no idea what's going to happen today. I can get you one of those for two fifty at a swap. I think Adam Halibak is an underrated player. I don't think he's going to make it past round three because that means he's going to be... Uh, yeah, round three is going to be playing Kalinowski. Partner. Assuming he wins yeah, this, this is a chance for him and to really strike out yeah, I don't think he's going to take count against asking. Rosie. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of both of them. What they did in that match, and <laughs> this one's one of those too hard to call. So. Yeah, and these I was not a fan of Rosie. Before, let's not forget that when you did have uh, Keaton Markey placing third in the five way, Adam Halvac placing second. So right. they both know their stuff, and they've proved that here before. But now they go head to head in a matchup that is going to see one of them advance into the third round. We had a lot of trash talk pre-show let's see what they had to say i feel pretty confident i feel super excited uh beating hector is always a joy in life uh too bad you guys couldn't see us play injustice 2. uh i packed i, I passed him a bag of salt quite a few times uh, while playing so it was great but i'm looking forward to seeing uh, what happens next and uh i'm looking forward to playing my next opponent you know i just showed up today and i'm so freaking confused because Mike decided to mix a ton of things up, and I was supposed to be facing Emma, so that's where all my studying and prep has gone into. But now all of a sudden I'm being told I'm facing Adam, and I'm like, I've already faced Adam. Like, I know I can beat him because I almost beat him if I wouldn't have gotten that freaking Philosopher's Stone question wrong. But, like, I'm not prepped for Adam. I'm prepped for Emma right now. Like, what the hell? I think she's actually a very, very good competitor, so I'm looking forward to seeing how we go, how we play one-on-one, -on -one because I think it's an interesting dynamic. You know, I've watched some of her matches, so I know some of her strengths. I know a little bit of her weaknesses, and I think, you know, if she's seen some of the matches that I've done, I think she kind of did the same thing, so I'm sort of interested to see how this will sort of play uh, in one game together. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Adam knows nothing about Harry Potter. He knows very little about Lord of the Rings, which is starting to become a little bit of a strong suit for me. I've been studying it really hard. Um, but I'm really nervous about Adam's kind of knowledge on uh, the comic book stuff, like the Marvel, the DC, because sometimes that's hit or miss for me. I feel like my, my strengths are very strong, and I've tried to work on some of my weaknesses, so I feel really confident going forward and seeing you know, who I'm going to be up against. And watching so many of these Schmodown matches, I have a good handle on what the players, certain players are good at, and I have a feeling that I can really take advantage of their weaknesses as well. My thoughts, if I win this and go on to the next round, which I'm going to, um, are that, you know, maybe I'll get a chance to actually fight Mike and be like, screw you, dude, for mixing this all up. Because it's not fair. And who yeah, you if she wins, I believe she does tournament. fight Mike. Um, and that would be a good matchup. Either of these two, I think, would be I mean, I good matchups. The, uh, and Kalinowski, I think whoever wins, I think Kalinowski will beat them. She still but, is ready to call people. Know. Didn't really work out for her last time. Right. She called Emma Nuss for not even playing her. And for Adam, he's really... I like, um... Uh, Keaton Markey's personality a lot. I think she's a really likable competitor. I think just as far as skills goes, I don't think she's going to make it against Adam Blavik, but who knows? It could have an upset here. It happens. You beat a team that you're not supposed to beat on Monday Night Football. You're losing to the Buccaneers on Sunday. That's what happens in these uh, intense competitions. It's 122 degrees in this studio. It's going to be hotter out there when the competitors get there to fight. He's off serial metaphors, and he's back on the good side with sports metaphors. Ken, what is the tale of the tape here today? What are the competitors good at? All right, Keaton Magic Markey. She is good at Harry Potter movies, Disney movies, and random shit. She loves random shit <laughs> like cereal boxes upside down where you open to get never oh, mind. There we go. Adam Halavik. He is good at comic book movies, Marvel, DC. He talks a lot about that stuff. I happen to know he's really good at Star Wars, and I really know he's good at day drinking in San Diego. He knows how to crush an IPA or two. Will Keaton Markey be another IPA for him to crush, or will she be a pilsner that is poured on the sad head of Adam Halavec? That metaphor went off the rails, but we are about to get started here. I'm ready, Ken. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Then let's get ready to schmodown. Good crowd today. Good crowd here today. Introducing the competitors will be the, the I, I don't want to say Golden Boys because somebody else has one of those, but this one, it's uh, maybe of a Honey Crisp Sugar Bear vibe. Uh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Honey you, Crisp You don't have voice. milk with your cookie crisp, you freak. All right, here we go. <laughs> Introducing first. Representing 
the Popcorn Talk Network with an Energetum record of one win and one. I like this song. It is. This is uh, Michael Bolton's version of the Hercules theme, I believe. Which, uh, King likes Disney a lot, so pretty good for her. There's been debate whether or not Disney should be a category in the Energetum. I say, yeah, I think it is specific enough to where it can be considered a geeky category. Representing Hyper RPG with an inner geekdom record of one win and one defeat. This is Adam, the head maker of the world. Drinking water, uh, holding a big glass of what we can only assume is water, some sort of clear liquid. Yep, yep, I like he went to the sensible polo shirt section at Target like I did, and I uh, respect him for that. We're twins, Ken. We you are. never know with Adam Halvac. He's got <laughs> more black on his shirt and on his facial hair than Steven Seagal in the mid-90s, and he looks just as focused. <laughs> he is on deadly ground here going up against Keaton Markey. Absolutely. All right, competitors in round one, you're going to hear ten questions from 10 different corners of the inner geekdom universe. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for okay, missing a question. There's no stealing in round one. The questions are all asked to the field. So as soon as you hear the question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard we so kindly provided you with, as well as the magic marker. That's also on our dime. No need to invoice us. Now, Adam and Keaton, once you write down your answer and we ask you for it by name, please show your whiteboard to the camera. At the same time, you verbalize your answer into the microphone. I will remind the competitors of their JTE rule. You have three usages of those throughout the match. If you're not sure if you heard a question right, you need to buy yourself some time, use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge if you don't like the way a question was ruled. And with all that out of the way, Adam, you are the favorite in this match. How are you feeling? I feel real good. Feels real good, like You've an been 80s radio. <laughs> Keaton Mark, are you feeling okay? Yeah, feel great. Then it's time to <laughs> schmow down. Hey. First time I did that order right, Ken. Did you? Big day in the Ellis household. First question out of ten. Category is Star Trek. Oh. How many Star Trek films were <laughs> released in the 1990s? Uh, Mark, do you think the answer okay. is higher uh, or lower than the amount of times I had sex in the 90s? Oh, boy. I did not follow you, but I've seen Instagram pictures with you with long hair, and i got to imagine more Star Trek movies came out. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm pretty and sure are down four and Star Trek movies Adelaide. came out in the 90s. Four? That's right. Four. That's right. Okay. And to answer the other question, Mark. Both competitors on the board, they are merely nine questions away from a yeah. perfect round one. And it, and, uh, <laughs> tight, tight. It was higher, Mark. <laughs> uh, well, Using hey, a you really picked different up marker here. Middle Earth is your next category. Middle Earth. What is the name of the King of Rohan in Lord of the Rings? Mm hmm. I would assume he just goes by a King of Rohan. You know, I love uh, I love about those movies. Everyone speaks in a whisper. Whisper. All right. Five. All right. Countdown. Five. I think I might get this Three. one. Two. I'm usually not good with Lord of the Rings, but I think with I have this one. one. Is it the uh, It's a nice place, but not the uh, right answer. It's real king. Uh, that is not. We're looking for Theoden. <laughs> king Theoden. Oh, no. I got it! A little more specific and a little more accurate on both counts, so we remain tied at one as we go back to Ken with the question from the MCU. The third question comes in the category of MCU, I as just Mark said. said. Uh, what is the name of Thanos' home world? Home world. Where does he watch TV? Guy. Thanos would be the worst uh, concert attendee because Five, he starts snapping his four, fingers. Three, two, That's and up, one. Looking for answers. Was it Titan? Titan. That is correct for a point. Keaton. I don't know. Okay. Uh, that is incorrect. No, 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 no. I'm pitching a perfect round, which is super rare for an inner geekdom match. Even though it's this early, it's still super rare. Is, who cast the Patronus that leads Harry to Gryffindor's sword? In the Deathly Hallows Part One. It sounds like a description for a Cinemax movie at 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of nudity getting the Gryffindor sword. Five, four, three, 
two. This is probably wrong. Looking for answers. Was it Hermione? Hermione? Uh, that is incorrect, Adam. Snape? That is correct. Oh my god. All right. Hi. Keaton uh, feeling a little bad for the miss there. Losing oh my, my perfect god. round chance, but still, three points oh, this early. Not pretty good there. for me, anyway. Question. Category is DC. What? Keaton not doing too well. Yellow spandex clad villain that Lex Luthor's. Okay, I got this one. Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. The comma and a oh, there's an apostrophe there. That, yeah, I put those in there to trip you up. Yeah, and thank you. Handle them like a pro. Nuclear man. Our answers here. One of the Five, silliest characters four, in three, the Superman lore. Two and one, starting with Adam. Nuclear man. That is correct. Chitara. Uh, no. <laughs> four one lead. Four one lead for us. Break out, Adam. All right. Adam, Me and Adam are tied here. Superman for the oh, I love that movie. I don't care. Multiple times. <laughs> uh, some crowd members are it's fans. It's a real as well. joke movie. I don't we care. We move on to heroes and villains. Mm. These are questions about good guys or bad heroes guys and or villains girls or girls. Your next question: Who plays ruthless mob boss Frank D'Amico in Kickass? Mm. You know, I always get Snape. Confused yeah. with uh, Snopes. Uh, he's probably the same person. It's a connected universe, I heard. I bet they were roommates. Five, four, three. I'm pretty two, sure this is wrong. Looking for answers starting Oscar with Oscar Isaac. Josh Brolin. <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah. Mark Adam. Strong? That is correct. Mark yeah. Strong, five points for yeah. uh, commanding five to one lead here in the midway point of round one. Still, so four points this early for me Clearly like they are on the is team pretty team. good. Can she make a comeback? All right, question seven is in the category of DCEU. DCEU. What two characters dig up Superman's body in Justice League? I uh, was not aware Superman had passed. I didn't know did that the man with the mustache was the same see as that. that. I don't know. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. I only and saw this movie once, so I might be wrong. With Adam. But Batman and Alfred? Gosh, that's correct. Keaton. Batman and Wonder Woman. Oh, Ooh, no. Mm. Oh, Batman and Wonder Woman not doing the dig, and they hire the underlings, the interns like of the Justice League for that job. Like that. Our next question comes from the world of like Star Wars. And your Star Wars question is, according to Yoda, what does a Jedi never use the Force for? Is it opening cookie boxes? Because I think that would be what I would well, use I think a Jedi for. can do that on a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, a Jedi fair. can use the Force Five, to build a hammock. Four. Three, two, and one. Pen Is it down revenge? Four answers starting with Keaton. Themselves. No, incorrect. Adam. Anger? No, attack. Looking for attack. Uh, They'd never use the force to uh, attack. Or open cereal boxes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wap, wap, wap. All right, question. Question nine. Question nine comes in the category of Marvel. Marvel. Who plays J. Jonah Jameson in the Sam Raimi series? Okay, this is easy. Two and a half really good movies in that trilogy. Oh, I see Two what you did half. there. Uh, I like emo Spider-Man. Uh, I like uh, Venom. Five, I play. four. J.K. Simmons. Two and one. Looking. Also, did Mark just defend Spider-Man Three Vince Venom? I don't even want to share. All right. She's not she's gonna. Not she's gonna withhold her answer, so we can answer. only assume it is not correct. <laughs> yes. And we cannot give her the point. Seven to one, and we move on to mixed bag. She's got some fans, apparently. <laughs> mixed bag is your last category in round one. This is mixed bag. Could come from any corner of the inner geekdom gallery. Five points. Your question happens to be, what actress played Supergirl in 1984? Oh. Supergirl. Cinematic is that classic. Movie? It's a cinematic classic, all right? I, I had it on VHS. Did you really? Uh, no. Not the best Five. thing to come. Four, 1984. Three, two, one. Looking for answers starting with Keaton. I don't even Incorrect. have anything. Incorrect. Good guess. Right. I like that guess. Helen Slater. That's right. Helen wow. Slater for the Adam to take a couple of Blu-ray. Okay. Uh, eight to one lead. Eight to one lead. Well, eight to one lead. Adam did very well. I did okay. Keaton did awful. I'm disappointed in Keaton's performance here. This is the wheel round. The wheel uh, I mean, yeah. Perhaps She's still an entertaining personality and all that. Um, but, yeah, as far as her performance for sure, I'm, I didn't have things she did very well. I'm getting missing nine questions when I, someone each competitor gets who admittedly isn't graded in her geekdom, can get five. I mean, yeah, she's probably just having 
from an off day everybody has that i mean dan merle had his off day very recently so if it can happen to the goat it can happen to anybody to one point keep in mind competitors there is stealing available in round number two Adam Halabak, you not only are the favorite points. today, you have a commanding 8-1 to one lead over Keaton Markey. Would you like to spin first or defer to your opponent? Um, I'm going to let Keaton spin first. Keaton's going to spin Put first. Put the pressure on. Put the pressure and on. And here uh, comes Keaton. Keaton. You got to keep that confidence going into <laughs> round number two for Keaton. You got to get some points on the Good board spin. here, Ken. Spin is in. Yeah, she needs this, and she might need some steals from Adam, too. A lot of pressure on this spin this here. Some, some of these inner gate them categories get really, really, really tough. Yeah, they do. They and do. Looking at Middle Earth. Middle Earth. Middle Earth. Middle Earth. How well do you know? She said she's been tears? studying up on this. <laughs> you can spin again if you don't like this category. Lord knows we don't like pronouncing the names. What would you like to do? You want to keep middle Crowd earth or spin again? Good cheers. So. <laughs> All right, spin, again. spin again. Spin away. Spin again. It's nothing to live for. Keaton slammed the door on him. Well, I'd spin again, definitely. The crowd right. spinners you know, I'm impressed. I was able to really pull off that Theoden question. Too much but she's muscle. passed it and DCEU movies. All right. All right. DCEU movies. These are movies in the current This is what EU. memory serves. This is what tripped her up last time a little bit. Aquaman, so that will not be a part of this. I should have stuck with middle. All right, Keaton, I will be asking you your I think we're at potential KO cat your first time. question of 5 a is potential KO situation. What hip hop artist has a brief cameo in Suicide Squad as Monster T, a gangster who has a misunderstanding with the Joker over Harley? Um, oh, Ice Cube. That is incorrect for incorrect. the steal, Adam Hell. I don't get to use multiple choice, correct? You do not get to use multiple choice. That is it's, correct. It's um, oh my God. Is that your yeah. final answer? No. Yeah, sure. Um, in common. That is correct. Two, two points. points two Halibak. points. That steal. is not the way Keaton wanted to start oh, no. off this I round. I was thinking right. coming in the back of my mind, but right, I didn't say because that didn't right. In the movie Man of Steel. The ancient Kryptonian sentry ship was discovered in what country? Uh, multiple choice, please. I can certainly provide that for you. Is it A, Canada, B, Iceland, C, Greenland, or D, Norway? Greenland. Greenland? That is incorrect. Correct. Adam Halva, can you steal that one as well? Norway? I feel like That's then it's Iceland. Correct. Looking to our neighbors up north, givers of Brian Adams, Canada. <laughs> oh. All right, Keen, your next question. Uh huh. How many years has Bruce Wayne been operating as Batman according to Batman v Superman? Um, multiple choice. Is it A, 15 years, B, 18 years, C, 20 years, or D, 22 years? 20 years. One point oh for Keith. Ah! Much All right, she pulls it off. And at this point, she has two questions left in Thank this you, round. Thank you, Ben Affleck. Yep. You just want to stay alive and yep. hope you can uh, maybe steal some from Adam in the rest of this round and then have a remarkable I'm pretty three. sure she's going to get next question. What does Hippolyta give to Diana when she says her goodbyes? Oh, I think I know it, but I'm just going to say multiple choice blade save. We can do that. Is it A, the God Killer Sword? B, the Lasso of Truth? C, Antiope's Tiara? Or D, the Bracelets of Submission? The, uh, I feel like it's. It is the, the Tiara sword. for another point. Oh, Starting right. to manage your way around this round. All right, and your last question. Oh, this is the saddest score. <laughs> In round number two. What caused Krypton to implode in Man of Steel? Multiple choice, please. Was it A, a black hole developed nearby? B, Krypton's sun burnt out? C, over-harvesting of the planet's core? Or D, the Phantom Zone expanded into reality? Uh, the sun. 
It was not the sun, Adam Halvick. Over I feel like it was fainting. They harvest zone. it too darn much, and it cost them big. Adam Halvick gets the steal, gets the point. It's 11 to 3, and he has an eight point lead. Right. And now he has the Man. ability to get 10 more points going into round three, at which point we would have a knockout. <laughs> Adam Halvick, you not only got a couple steals, you now get to spin the wheel yourself. Here comes Halvick to a rousing round of applause here from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, here's the spin cannon. Here um, we go. All right. All right, crowd against him when he's really not playing the heel. Yeah, I almost feel like I should take I, him out for a beer after no, the show. I, 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 I have a friend of him as well. Right? Um, he's feel bad for oh, me. He might have gotten spinner's choice. Oh, villains. Villains, do you want to keep villains? Do you want to keep villains? Do you want to spin again? Gonna need, uh, gonna need your decision here. I'm gonna need your decision in five seconds. I take stick it. With it. It's gonna keep villains, Ken. All right. It's All gonna right. keep villains. Oh, sure don't. Sure don't. And he is right. These could be villains from any corner of the inner geekdom universe, right. or as the crowd would view him, these could be questions about Adam Halliday. That's right. It's hey, my true Hollywood you know. story. <laughs> All right, you have four questions in this round, Adam. Five, five questions, and I don't play in the inner geekdom. Here. He eats cereal, folks. He's not great at math. Give the kid yeah. a break. Five questions. Five questions. First one <laughs> coming in. What was the name of the Death Eater that was appointed to the post of head of magical law enforcement? under Voldemort's regime. I said the name, I'm sorry. Dear God. Multiple choice. Yaxley, B, um. Runcorn, C, Thickness, D, Caro. Is that a, where's Roka? I feel like it was Yaxley. Thickness. Thick, it's thick. What's the answer? I'm gonna go with B. That's incorrect. Can, first. Can you repeat them? God that, damn it. That was hard to understand, but sure. I could not Come hear here. you. <laughs> I'm going to repeat. Sorry. Okay. A, Yaxley. B, Runcorn. C, Thick Nisi. I don't know. D, Caro. Oh. Um. A. I feel like it was Yaxley. That's for a point. All right. Deal. All right. As the Bee Gees would say, Ken, ha, 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 staying alive. Oh, <laughs> please, please. All right. Second question out of five. Who served as viceroy to the Trade Federation in The Phantom Menace? New Gunray. That's correct for two points. That's a big two, two points, Two points. Ken. All right, so now it is 13 to four. And Adam Halleback, we're looking at, we're, we're in knockout range right now, Ken. So buckle your safety belts. All right, here we go. Who said, do you want to know why I use a knife? Guns are too quick. You can't savor all the little emotions. Heath Ledger is the Joker. Oh, uh, that was the Joker. We're going to accept that as the right answer, the Joker. That is correct. That's two points. It's now 15 to four. So technically, Adam, he has knocked out Keaton, but not quite yet because he has one more question in round number two. So if he doesn't get this and Keaton yeah. steals it, she would advance to round yes. three where we've seen anything. Is it It'd possible. be smart no matter what. Here. A couple Bruce more questions. To go to multiple right, choice uh, here you because go. then... What actor who also stole you know, an arrow? Even if he gets it wrong, Keen Markey can only tie the it. White Orc Azog in the Hobbit films. Can do multiple choice. You may. A. Dominic Purcell. B. Michael Jai White. C. Vinnie Jones. D. Manu Bennett. Manu Bennett? It's not a knockout. You just One you. point that is One correct. Point away from a knockout. So Manu Bennett, uh, 16 to 4. Oh, oh okay. So. so now Adam Halovac, all he really has to do is just get one point. Just get one point, and we're done. All right. So Final question. It. Jesus. Or oh, yeah, at this question point. Question coming in here. I feel like they're just pouring salt. In the X Men First Class, after you, injuring Charles by deflecting. If you just go to multiple choice, you've still knocked her up. Nearly kills Moira by doing what? <clears throat> um. I believe he tries to choke her to death with the necklace she's wearing. And your winner! Hi. Hey. Hey. 
That was... Honestly, Halafik did super good. Despite the fact that Marky, you know, gave an underwhelming performance, I don't think we should take away how well Halavik played in that. Which, that's going, Halavik versus Kalinowski, I was saying Kalinowski probably going to take it, but there could be an upset here. There's a chance that Halavik could take this. Very emotional singer that Bolton and Adam Halavik, a hell of a job. He clearly knows a lot from a lot of different places in the inner kingdom he is somebody to look out for whoever he's going to be taking on in round three Ken. he's on a roll here he had the big win over hector he has another victory here he moves on in the tournament and we're going to hear from both the winner and the loser with the wonderful jen sturger what's up movie trivia schmodown fans jen sturger here with adam adam that was an absolutely dominant performance how are you feeling right now uh i feel good i, I feel like a lot of those questions it were sort of in my favor, which, thank God, because then obviously I would have been completely crushed had I gotten things like Middle Earth or Harry Potter. Uh, I think Keen would have completely dominated me, but man, I got real lucky on this round, yeah. And you spun villains and you stuck with it. Like, that's a, that's a pretty risky move. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't really sure whether or not I should keep it because, like I was saying, it could be villains from any franchise, any movie in history. But like you said, with Middle Earth on the wheel. Yeah, with that and, uh, you know, opponent's choice, I figured, screw it, I'll just take the risk. I have multiple choice in my favor, so if anything, I can at least get there halfway. Now, you made it to the second round, dominated, You're moving on, obviously, mm -hmm. and there's still a lot of players in this, in this field for you. I'm that real are excited about it. <laughs> Who do you want next? Uh, well, you know, I have, I have some beef left over with Donica, and uh, there's plenty of other people in men, and I really would like to battle Cushing, okay. and, Emma, and a few other people that I thought. So myself, this but, uh, I'm was probably really done before really it was announced that Kalinowski would be so, playing Halak. Uh, it's a great honor to always come back and, and play. Well, fantastic. We can't wait to see what you do in the next Thank round. Thank you. Oh. Keaton, I would and before Donica was beaten. Right now. Are you doing Okay. Oh God, I've done I've done better. I've done a lot better. We made it to the second round of this tournament, and there's there are no slouches in this tournament, no. by the way. No, I don't know. It just I I was kind of off. I, I prepped for Emma, and uh, then you Keaton know, didn't had do to very well. All up. Uh, and you know, showing up but, today and not knowing who I was going to compete against. You know, she did very well in her first match, so I think you know she just had an off day. Who, I just felt like there I were a lot her again. of uh, DC, Marvel, comic booky questions, which obviously you need to expect. But I should have chosen Middle Earth uh, on the spin. I was just going to ask you: Do you wish you would have stuck with Middle Earth? I absolutely do, because I knew that was one of Adam's weaknesses, and I knew at least with multiple choice, if I didn't know it, I could get it off of multiple choice. So that was a strategy that I played wrong. So. What's next? I mean, I know, I know, like, obviously you're out of the tournament now, but you got to come back. Right? I you absolutely gotta redeem have yourself. to come back. I, I have to. I, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to, you know, battle Emma because I was supposed to battle her today, and I just think it would be a fun match. Uh, you know, even uh, Jay. Jay was kind of giving me some, some yeah. uh, flack on my Instagram. So, Jay, I don't know if you're out there. I think there, Emma but versus I think Keaton would be a good match, or Jay versus Keaton would be a good match. <laughs> I'm sure he'll have a thing or two to say about that. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. But. It was really <laughs> nice to see you today. I'm sorry Thank it didn't you. go your you know, way, but you'll be back. I will definitely with the be ears. back. Absolutely with the ears. <laughs> Thanks for having me again for the tournament. Anytime. All right, so you see that right there. I mean, Adam doesn't really care. I wouldn't mind seeing Keaton versus Eric Zipper. I think that'd be a good match. He get higher without medical assistance mm -hmm. after beating Hector Navarro. He is at that place now. Uh, Keaton comes in. Nice, uh, nice attitude as always. She brings a cherry disposition. Just it didn't. Uh, go her way this time but she had a big win the last time out so that sometimes the wins and losses come here it's uh, what you bring to the table the next time out. yeah when, when you get a knockout like that you see a competitor in the post game interview you still want to see if they have the fire she clearly still has a very competitive fire burning for the inner geekdom tournament and in the movie trivia schmodown the future of the schmodown which only i don't even think the lord our savior knows what's going on right now in the head of mike kalinowski that guy's no. head is like vegas and god can't actually see <laughs> into that particular city now ken Shield. you and i want to talk about the schmodown patreon real quick if you're <laughs> yeah. not already a member of the movie trivia schmodown patreon please check out the patreon and figure out which tier is right for you we love having your support 
Absolutely. It, uh, it uh, goes to a good cause. Me and my domination here in the uh, snow. <laughs> Congrats that, on the nice okay. Ken. Mm. Maybe t-shirts coming soon. In the meantime, you guys can check out more Movie Trivia Schmodown action if you join the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group, or you can check out the Schmodown Rundown on iTunes. For Ken Knapsack, I am merely Mark Ellis, at Ken Knapsack, at Mark Ellis Live, and we'll see you guys real soon on the movie, a trivia, a Schmodown. Is there going to be a little... Oh. Okay. Well, uh, that was a solid match. Not a, you know, an amazing match, but... I, okay, I'll admit, it wasn't a great match. Uh, but, you know, Keaton just had an off day. But it was a great performance from Adam Hlavik. Adam Hlavik, Hlavik did super well. And, uh, yeah, I, I think him versus Kalinowski... I think I'm giving the slight edge to Kalinowski, but I think it's possible he could take it. I think it's possible. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, um, do all that. Watch me uh, usually whenever I'm on uh, Schmodown All Access on the Jack of All Trivia channel. And I'm guessing, I think I have a match coming up Tuesday. I'm not sure on the Jack of All Trivia channel on an actual trivia match, so that. Super cool, so uh, be sure to watch that, do all that. Uh, thank you, bye.